الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وصحابك يا شفيع المزنبين السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی برادرز اینڈ مائی سسٹرز وی تھینک اللہ وی پریز اللہ فار دس لائف اینڈ دس ایمان اسلام اینڈ دس ٹائم to do what is right and time my brother and sister we are going to discuss this afternoon and we thank Allah for this life the gift of Allah and we must cherish it and we must guard it and we must protect this gift which Allah gave us and this life my brother and sister this is our lives we must value it and we must appreciate it and we have in the Holy Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وال آسر ان الانسان لفی خسر ال اللہ دین آ منو و عامل السوال خاطی و تو سو بالحق و تو سو بسب اینڈ دس چیپٹر آف تولی قرآن is talking about Asr. Asr also means time. And Asr also means, you know, this life which Allah gave you and me, this life, our age, one year, five years, 10 years, 40 years, 50 years. And after 50 years, then we're going down the hill. Matter of time, you know, 60 years. Hardly we, hardly you know, very few are the people you know who reach, very few are the people who reach 80 and plus. Very rare people reach to 90. That is all the time. Lucky are those who have long life and good deeds. Long life with good deeds. They are the best, my brothers and my sisters. And what you will do with long life, with bad deeds, that is loss. That is loss. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking, my brother and sister, reminding you and me, is a very, very important topic, this, for you and for me, this time, this life, with just passing by. Just passing by and we, not even, we don't even notice it is going. It's going. It's going, my brother and sister. You know this life, our life, is like a book. It is like a book, my brother and sister. What is happening each morning, each morning that we witness in our life, the page of that book is turned. We turn one page every morning. And these pages which are turned, my brothers and sisters, getting more, getting heavier. Every morning, page is turned. 
of our life, the book. The book. Book of our life, the pages are turning, every morning turning, and we're not even aware of it. And this is us. This is our book. And you know what is happening, my brother and sister? These books, these pages are turning one by one. And it's getting this side, this side, when paging, when page are turning, the right side is getting heavier, thicker. And the pages on the right hand sides are getting fewer, just few, smaller and smaller. This side is getting more, this side is getting less. And the time will come, my brother and sister, that there will be last page of our life will be turning, last page. Coming to each and every one of us. And last page, the last page of our lives are turned. And the last page are turned in our book. And there is no more pages to turn. We are not even aware. We are not even aware. The pages of our books, no more, finished. There is no page to turn anymore. Now what is happening? That is the time our eyes are closing. That's it, because there's no more page. Pages of our books are all turned and filled with the actions. Because we are not sleeping all day and all night. When the page is turned, we are doing something. Actions are done. Actions are done. Actions are performed. And when there is no more pages to turn, last page to turn, that is the last hour of our life. And then the eyes are closed. And when the eyes are clo closed, my brother and sister, then the books close too. Books close. You see, when we read the book, we close the book. We finish. When we write something, when we complete something, we close the file. Our file is closed. Now the book is closed. Our books are closed. The book of that person is closed whose eyes are closed. No more page, no more day to live. That's it. Now that book is kept in safe. Book kept. And now that book will be given to him on that day of judgment. That is what we call that our book. And sometimes, you know, we are making this dua. Oh Allah, grant that book in our right hand. That book, book of our action. Oh Allah, not in our left hands. It is said when the book is given in the left hand, is not good sign. So book will be given, my brother and sister. And when the books will be given, the same book whose page, pages are turned every morning, pages are turned, every morning turn, and the book is completed, no more page to turn. And our eyes closes. That is end of our life. Books kept safe. And on the day of judgment, that book is brought to us. And will be given, my brother and sister. The book will be given to you and to me. And that is real. And that is real. You know real? That is what you call real. Who said that? Allah. In his book. In his book. That is his book. Allah's book. Quran. 
And then Allah says in the, in the Quran, Ikra. Ikra kitabika kafa bi nafsika li yawma alayka hasiba. Read. Read. Read your book. You see the book I just mentioned? Now every day, book is open. We still have a few pages to go. Only God knows how many pages remains. But if we, if we really think deeply, we, more pages are turned in our books, few remains. Just think about our lives, how long we already lived. Think about it, how long. How long, my brothers and sisters? The much is gone. Much is gone. And then on the day of judgment, that book will be open. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, my brothers and sisters, the same revelation which we are reciting in the Holy Quran, when we happen to recite the Holy Quran, and sometimes we're reading Holy Quran, we're just reading, and we're reading, and we're reading. Oh man, when are you going to understand what Allah is telling you and me? We just read. And many of us don't even know what we are reading, my brother and sister. Allah bless our reading. It carries blessing when we read. Reward is there. But this Quran has not only come to read, my brother and sister, this Quran is guidance. Udall al muttaqeen this is a guidance, my brother and my sister. And that is what Holy Prophet says. Man kalaul Quran afastaz arahu, fa ahalla halalahu, wa haram haramahu, ad halaulaul janna fi shafahu, fi ashrit min ahli betihi, kulluhum kad wajabat laul nar. Man kalaul Quran. Whoever read this Holy Quran. And he learn it, understand it. Not just read, you know. Man karal Qurana, fastaz arahu. Fa ahalla halalahu. And consider what it is, what it what it's lawful. Wa haramahu and what are its what are forbidden action. He reads the Holy Quran. He understands the Holy Quran. And he put the guidance of the Holy Quran into action in his life and do what is right and keep off from what is wrong, what is evil, what is unlawful. Then Allah will grant him Jannah. Jannah. Jannah is for him. No, not only alone. No, he's not going alone. He's special. Because he has learned the Holy Quran, he memorized the Holy Quran. He not just memorized the Holy Quran, he just not learned the Holy Quran. He not only understand the Holy Quran, many of us understand, but do not put that, that understanding into action. But he regards its lawful as lawful, and its unlawful as unlawful. He will be granted paradise. Wa shafau fi ashritim min ali beti kulum kad wajabat lanna. No, but he's not going to heaven alone. He will be given that privilege to take with him ten persons of his family. This is what Quran, Allah has given us that guidance. We thank Allah. And this Quran, my brother and sister, is telling us, it's better now we read that book of Allah, that book of Allah. Ikra kitabika. Read your book. You know our book, which is, we, pay, we turning pages 
on a daily basis. And it is recorded. Angels are busy writing in that book of you are and mine. He, right now, right now they are busy writing. Whatever good you are doing, thank Allah. You are sitting in front of IBN Islamic Broadcasting Network. That network, my brother and sister, Islamic network, where we sharing the guidance of Allah, reminding us, reminding you and me of that creator who has created us. Allah zi khalaqaka, that creator who has created you. Fasawwaka, fa'adalaka. who have given us understanding and put a beautiful path machinery in you. That Allah, my brother and my sister, that Allah is saying on the day of judgment, Ikra kitabika kafa binafsikal yawma alayka hasiba. Read your book. Your book, this book is your. This is your book. That book we are talking, my brother and sister, our book, which is being recorded, Allah will say about that book. Ikra kitabika kafa bi nafsikal yawma alayka khasiba. Read your book this day. This day. Day of judgment. Ikra kitabika kafa bi nafsikal yawma alayka khasiba. You are sufficient. You are sufficient to take this day your own account. Read. It's all written there. Read. Written. Amazing, my president. And then each and every one is about going to read that book. Actually, he will read. Even if you can't read here, you will be given understanding and the knowledge to read whatever is written. No problem. It's not that I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm among those who can't even read. You will read. We will read, my brother and sister. And you know what will happen then? We have it in the Holy Quran. When they will actually read, they will say, Wa yakuluna ma li hazil kitab. They will say, Ah, what is this? What kind of book this is? This is strange. This is amazing. وَيَكُورُونَ مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَخْسَاهَا Ah, what a book is this? This book leaves nothing small and nothing big. Oh my God, we find everything. Sahiratan wala kabira illa aksa wa wajidu ma amila hadira. And they will find all that in that book. They will find it. Allah said. Everything. They will say, Ha, ah, what is this? This book says everything, boy. Everything is written. Small and even big, and even the smallest action. Every action is right there. That is that is true. They will find before them Quran, my brother. Book. And no excuse. On that day, my brother and sister, absolutely no excuse. We will have no opportunity to make any excuse from this tongue. Now we can talk. We can talk all the good things when we can share the guidance and you receive the guidance. And we can use this tongue to curse and to tell lies and to engage in backbiting. This tongue, my brother and sister. So, let us make preparation. In case if we want to make some excuses, we'll be asked to close. These lips will be sealed off. Seal off. We have it in the Holy Quran. Al-yawma nakhtimu ala afwahim. 
وَتُكَلِّمُنَا اَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشَدُ اَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَقْسِبُونَ This day we will seal off. الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ وَلَا أَفْوَائِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا اَيْدِيهِمْ We will seal off their, their lips, their, 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 their mouths. Seal off completely, nothing to say. They can't say anything anymore. Can't say anything. Absolutely no opportunity will be given to say anything on that day. No more talking. No more excuses also. Because everything is recorded in your book, so what more you want? And their hands will talk to us. Their hands will talk to us. And their feet will give testimony. Their feet will give testimony to what they used to do. What a day. What a day, my brother and sister. What a day. Not only people are going to give testimony. What are, not only the people are going to give testimony against, against that person, that criminal, who is unjust to himself, but his limbs will talk against him. الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَىٰ أَفْوَائِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَ اَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَرْشَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَقْسِبُونَ Not only that, even the place where we do wrong, that will, give, that will give testimony. And when, you know, the skin and the, the limbs will talk, talk and then the person will say, but what is wrong with you? Why are you, you giving testimony against, against me? What has gone wrong with you? You are the one I was, I wanted to make comfortable. You are this flesh. This flesh was the one I wanted to give you all the comforts and all the beautiful things. Committing only to make sure this flesh is comfortable, this, this flesh is nourishing with wrong things. And then, you know, this, this will say, this will say, speak back. He said, but what can we do? It's not me. It's not we talking. It is Allah. He has given us the power of speech. Not we. Who are we to talk? The skin and the hands and the limb then will say, no, we're not talking. We, we can't talk. Allah is the one who has given us the speech. And he is the one who gives speech to everything. It's not only he has given us speech to, to limbs, he has given speech to everything. Kulla shayin. He gives to everybody. And you know then, يَوْمَ يَزِمْتُ خَدِّسُ وَأَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَالَهَا Then this day, she, this land, this earth, the place where we do wrong, will declare her news. يَوْمَ يَزِمْتُ خَدِّسُ وَأَخْبَارَهَا Will declare her news. Why? But how, how this, this wall will speak? How this, this place where we are standing and where we are sitting and where we are doing wrong, nobody is here. Nobody is here. Absolutely nobody is here. We are safe. We are all alone in this room. No one is here. That means we are safe. But on the day of judgment, it is not safe. This day she will declare her news. Oh Allah, oh our creator, this man, such and such man, he committed that wrong on me. I bear witness. But how come you talking? How come this wall talking, this stone talking, this earth is talking? It's because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord has given her the command to speak, so that is why we speak. So my brother and my sister, this time belong to Allah. And we thank Allah for it. Allah said, Wala asr, by the time, by the time, by this age, this, this time, this, this umar, this what which we have given to you, just remember, 
innal insana lafi khus man is at a loss allah is saying man is at a loss man is at a loss but man is saying he progressing he achieving he always going forward he very proud of his progress he reach very high you reach so high or oh man you reach so high allah gave you such a knowledge that you even reach on the moon you got the moon alhamdulillah allah bless you with this knowledge to reach to the moon but do not forget the creator of the moon who has created the moon o oh man you working hard to reach at the moon and you not working hard to reach to your lord almighty who has given you the knowledge man is at a loss the question arises if everybody is at a loss not everybody is not at a loss no illa allazina amanu illa allazina amanu wa amilu as-salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bis sab beautiful it says by the time man is in a loss except such have faith have faith and do righteous deeds and join together join together in the teaching of truth and of patience that's what we are doing right here at ibn islamic broadcasting network share in the guidance those who share in the guidance and those who have the patience those who have faith and those who do good they are not at a loss so my brother and my sister the moments of our life are just passing and these are very valuable very valuable indeed and you know it is so valuable that it is said that one day prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was passing by a graveyard and he come across one grave and he said to his companion oh my companion you know sometime when we make two rakat namaz and we think is is not big thing that's what holy public is explaining in his in his very special way he say oh my companion when he look at the grave and and come to know what is going on allah gave him the sight to know what that person in the grave is going on allah gave the knowledge allah gave him the sight who is the real real owner of that knowledge from that knowledge allah blessed the holy prophet with that knowledge that understanding what this mayat what this disease in the grave is going through what that person is wishing at this moment and that is when holy power said oh my people oh companions this two rakat which you and me make we feel you know is no big thing and we try to make quick quick jaldi 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 hum namaz padh lete hain aur wo hum kehte hain ki bhai ye bas theek hai namaz hai so quickly quickly make two rakat namaz and here we we come out of it and you know holy power said and this person in in, in the grave this person in the grave is wishing is wishing that is the burning desire of the person who is in this grave holy prophet said is wishing if he only get just two minutes two minutes two minutes only the time two minutes he wants nothing more so that he may be able to perform two rakat nafal for allah for his pleasure and this two raka to him is more valuable 
then this entire world and whatever is in this world, whatever is in this world, my brother and my sister, you see now, the value of this time which we just waste, Holy Prophet is saying, this person in the grave is wishing, if Allah only grant him time, just two minutes, so that he may be able to perform, just two rakat namaz. He would value this two rakat more than this whole universe and whatever this universe hold in it, that two minutes is more valuable. So my brother and my sister, Allah blessed us with Islam, with Iman, with health, with time and free time, value it. And we are going for a short break. Please, stay tuned, if you can. Sadai Islam will continue. Continue after this very short break. Stay tuned. Shoppers, less is more at Harris Megastore and Supermarket, located at High Street, Princess Town. They offer the widest selection of quality meats, vegetables, grocery and household items at prices to suit your pocket. Harris Megastore and Supermarket also offers the comfort of spacious aisles and the convenience of three levels of parking. Their kind and courteous staff makes for a pleasurable shopping experience. So come on down to the largest supermarket in Princess Town and experience the biggest bargains around. Harris Megastore and Supermarket is your one-stop shop for quality products at the lowest prices. Remember, less is more at Harris Megastore and Supermarket, High Street, Princess Town. Ah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, my brother and sister, welcome back. Welcome back. Khush amdeed. And you are watching Sadai Islam, the voice of Islam. From your favorite channel, Channel 8, that is IBN, Islamic Broadcasting Network. Network, Islamic Network, where we sharing the guidance of Allah. And where Allah bless you at this very time to be part of IBN, Islamic Broadcasting Network. Allah bless you. And Allah bless all those who are with you watching Sadai Islam, every Sunday, 3 to 4, and as well as Friday, 3 to 4. Allah accept this service from all of us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless those my brothers and my sisters who are supporting IBN Islamic Broadcasting Network. And we are talking about time. This time, my brother and sister, it is said in a hadith that on the day of judgment, the person who waste, who waste, how Holy Prophet said it, about that person who waste, even the moment of his or her time, moment, moment, Few seconds. We're not, we're not talking about minutes and hours. Few seconds. The person who just waste and let this time go by. 
on that day of judgment, these few seconds to him will be more valuable than this whole world and whatever is in this world. That is the value, my brother and my sister. This time, this is a trust of Allah. This is a gift of Allah. And let us use it right. Now we're not understanding. Only my brother and sister, if we can, if we, if we can only ask the person who is in his grave, and if he can answer our question, and he would say, he could see all what And then he would know. Then he would know what is the reward of saying Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters, we say. We praise Allah, we thank Allah. It carries blessing so much. Blessing it carries. Only that person in the grave, my brothers and sisters, value the reward of Alhamdulillah and the reward of Subhanallah and the reward of Allah Akbar. That person is wishing in the grave, I wish. My family raised their dua for me. Make dua for me. Do some sadaqah for me. Do some charity for me. Do some sadaqah jariya for me. So that I get reward. The book is closed. The book of his is closed. So he can't do any good for himself. Now he hoping, wish, Someone can do good for him. So my brother and my sister. Now, we can speak and we can turn to Allah and we can make dua and we can ask Allah for forgiveness. And we can do all the beautiful things before our eyes close. And once our eyes are closed, my brother and sister, permanently, then we will not be able to give him a chance to speak. So therefore, we are going for a short break, my brother and my sister. Please stay tuned. Sadai Islam will continue after this short break. For the everyday lowest prices on all grocery items, Trust Low Cost Supermarket for the widest variety of quality products at low prices. Freshly picked fruits and vegetables, healthy products for your well-being, high quality meat cuts and a warm and friendly service. Low Cost Supermarket, Sun and Main Road, Kunupia. <laughs> We got the real fruit juice, real fruit taste, fruit that fruit juice, anytime, any day. Get the biggest fruit taste around when you drink fruta. Have a fruta, drink a fruta, drink fruta, real fruit for real. Alhamdulillah, my brother and my sister, we thank Allah, we praise Allah for this life, with this time, with this Iman, with this Islam. With, the, with these opportunities to do good action and when we do good action, we do good action. We thank Allah there are people who do wrong and when they are going through difficulties, you know, my brother and sister. And we must just turn to Allah, whether we are going through joy or whether we are going through happiness. 
Ah, remember the good old days when we had roti with rich, creamy butter? Mmm. Eh? Nationwide. Reduce the sugar chubby with the same great taste. Lots of magic fruit and flavors drink from more healthy way. It tastes so yummy, chubby, chubby, chubby. 25% less sugar chubby. Running races, have fun. It tastes so yummy, chubby, chubby. Drink the more healthy way. Alhamdulillah, welcome back. Uh, you know, just before this uh, short break, uh, I was just reminding my brother and my sisters, reminding myself of that beautiful hadith of the Holy Prophet. Holy Prophet said, al masaibu kasiratun wa azmul masaibi zabul waqt. The calamities are many. Many are the calamities and disasters. But the greatest calamity is that calamity. When one wastes his time, when one wastes hard time, just waste. That is the greatest calamity. And you know, sometimes we see people doing wrong, and they are sinking in that life of sin. And at that moment, my brother and sister, we must thank Allah and we must ask Allah. Oh Allah, we thank you and we praise you for keeping us away from that calamity. We're going again for a short break. Stay tuned. Milkana butter, an experience for your taste buds. Smooth, flavor-filled, rich, velvety butter. Milkana butter for cakes, pastries, pies, or just place it in any of your favorite dishes and add that rich buttery taste to all your meals. Why choose another? Look for the butter with flavor, the butter with the creamy richness in taste. Milkana butter, distributed by N.M. Ghani, 2003 Limited. Number one, industrial lean, Charles Alhamdulillah, my brother and sister, uh, excuse me, I just, you know, wanted to drink some water. And uh, I'm very happy that, Alhamdulillah, water is right here. Jazakumullah khair jaza. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, you know, we, Allah provide us with all the means and health to drink. And there are people who can't drink, but they are in the last, you know, we say close to death. What one can do? Thank Allah that we are alive. 
and we have the time, we have good health. And you know, I was just mentioning before this last break, you know, it is said, Holy Prophet said, Wa iza ra'aytum, wa iza ra'aytum, when you happen to see someone, alul bala, fas aku rabbakumul afia. When you see someone afflicted with calamity, you must seek Allah's guidance, Allah's protection. Beautiful hadith. How, we do, how would we understand what does calamity mean? When you happen to see someone afflicted with calamity, you see someone being afflicted with calamity, disaster, at that moment, while you are not in that calamity, seek Allah's guidance and Allah's protection and say, oh Allah, I thank you. I praise you. That calamity is not afflicted, meaning if someone is doing harm to himself, harm to himself, doing something wrong, committing sin, you turn to Allah, ask Allah, O oh Allah, I thank you. O oh Allah, I praise you for keeping me away from that shameful deed which their person is committing. And sometimes my brother and my sister, we going through calamities, pain, worries, stress. And we don't even know how to come out of that. And this is the calamity. You see, recently I, I was li listening to one program, very recent, and someone was giving remedy. Someone was advising those people who are going through pressure, who are going through stress, worries. How to come out of that worries? You see, when one is not equipped with the knowledge, then that person will misguide. Misguide. Instead of guiding that person, helping that person to come out of that problem, that person will push that person into more problems, more difficulties, more calamities. Because he does not have the knowledge or the guidance to help that person. And that person I was listening, my brother, very carefully, and that person was saying, advising those people in case if someone is going through stress and how to de-stress de yourself, how to come out that, that stress and that worries and that pressure, that person was saying, you know what? He said, you switch on the music and dance. Switch on the music and dance. Then you will have no worries. Isn't that calamity itself, my brother and sister? The person is going through calamity. And now the person is helping him to come out of this cal calamity. Now he's pushing that person into more suffering, more pain. Shaitan must be really laughing, isn't it? The man is going through pressure. And now this one is going, now you switch on the music and dance and you are stressed, you will have no stress. What a madness that is. And then it continues said, the next point is that if you're going through stress, you must start to scream. That is the solution for you to come out of your worries, come of your difficulties. This, this, is what we, this is what we're getting, my brother and sister, from those who do not have the knowledge of the Quran, those who do not have the guidance, we thank Allah. That is why I started to turn to Allah and I say, oh Allah, I thank you, I praise you for having guided me, guided, guiding us to Quran. Oh Allah, thank you. Oh Allah, it is only through your mercy, your special blessing, and today we follow the beautiful teaching of Quran and the Sunnah of beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which has absolutely everything it, it contains. It is the guidance. It is the way of life. 
It contains everything. And then I, I, I started to look into the Holy Quran. I started to ponder about the beautiful guidance of the Holy Quran and then come across that. If, oh man, if you're going through hard, hard time, and if you're going through worries, if you're going through problems, if you have tension, if you have stress, turn to Allah. Oh man, you turn to Allah. Allah is waiting for you. Our Creator is waiting for you and waiting for us. Anxiously, my brother and my sister, Allah is saying in the Holy Quran, Fazguruni askurkum. Oh, my servant, you remember me and I will remember you. If you only learn to remember Allah, you will have no stress in your life. If you want peace of mind, we have the remedy in the Holy Quran. We have the guidance. That's what we're doing here at IBN. We share in the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brother and my sister, if you're going through stress, go to nowhere else. Ask no one to help you, but turn to Allah, turn to Quran. We will have the guidance. We have the guidance. Allah bi zikrillahi. Allah bi zikrillahi tatma'innul kuloob. Verily. In the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find satisfaction? Oh man, if you are going through stress and sorrows and worries and difficulties in life, just remembrance of Allah. And if you, if you need help, if you need help, Allah will help you. How Allah will help you? Wasta'inu bi sabri waswala. Seek help through patience and prayer. That's what is needed. Very simple, my brother and sister. So Allah bless us. That is the time we have today. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guard us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And my brother and my sister, cherish this life, our life, which Allah given us as a gift. Guard it. Enjoy it. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. If we continue to thank Allah, the owner of our life, and we must use the way he has commanded us to use. Because he created us. He, he sent the guidance before he created us. The guidance came, my brother and sister, before we, we are created. And that is Quran. Nothing wrong will go in our life. And that's what Holy Prophet said. I'm closing now. The Holy Prophet said, Oh, my people, I, I, I'm leaving behind you two things. As long as you follow these, you, nothing wrong will go in your life. You will never go astray. Never go astray. Meaning you will have no pressure. You will have no stress. Success will, victory will touch your feet. And that is Quran and my way. As long as you follow this and hold firmly, everything will go the way how you want it to go. Allah bless us. Until next Sunday, my brothers and sisters, keep well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.